What service do you seek? Go. Your destiny is not here. Always promise the freedom of the sea. Now, though, a new danger is coming on the tides, already a change this world to its liking. And if what it wants can't be found, it will take everything. Want to know its name? The one who brought this ruin lie in iron below the feet of the ferryman, trapped for all forever in the sea of the damned. Nobody but its captain may tread below the deck of that ship. That means to learn the truth with your own eyes, you'll have to stow away. But if the ferryman him catch you, your destiny might in there. Still listening? Hmm. Then listen close. All you think you know about your life and death is only the beginning. With your heart still beating, you will see those cursed shows with new eyes. When you raise up the flame of souls, all I can do is show you the way. I traveled to another world, and now you will do the same. Take these words for the journey. If you read them right, them whisper what has been and what is yet to be. Whispers to help you save a pirate's life. Now make sail. The door is open. The prisoner is waiting. And our time is trickling away.
trinkets and coins. Ah! of old and ill deeds long past. If ye be brave enough to perceive the curse of dead man's grotto awaits you.
the truth lies before you. In this place, dead men will always have tales to tell. Ye paid the warnings no heed, and set foot in sailor's grave while ye still draw breath, at the risk of marooning yourself here for all eternity. Now that be what I call true pirate courage. Not like the scurvy sea devils who stole me plunder and jailed me up here. Me own crew, a bunch of treacherous curs. Ah, but this be no way to hold a conversation. Climb up here, and lower me cage. I'll make it worth your while. Well, it's a start, sure enough. But ye've barely begun. I'm strung up by this old ship beside me cage. But ye'll never board her from the ground. Hold your course, and see if you can't make it over to her from where you are now. I'll wait. cross, lessen ye grow some wings. But ye mustn't give up. Ye see, I happens to know of a way to call the very man back to these shores. That's the way. Ah, oh, I can taste me sweet, sweet freedom. Ye took your sweet time, but here we are. Now, ye just need to lower me cage very, very gently. Ye understand? Huh? What was that sound? Ah! Oh, me head is killing me. It's not exactly a dignified reunion, but I do welcome being back on the ground. I'd hope the fall might bust open these here bars, but it seems I'll be needing another favor from ye. If ye can hunt down me mutinous crew and find the key to me cage, well, once I'm free, we might just be able to strike a bargain. Me crew wouldn't let the key out of their sight. They probably took it along to celebrate their treachery. The roaches! Find the tavern, and you'll find me freedom. Hey, 
Hades burning beard. Ye found the key. Well now, a deal's a deal. Set me free, and I'll tell ye all that I can. That's the way. I've been fearful that the lock might have rusted after all this time. Being that I'm unable to provide my own means of locomotion, ye'll have to carry me and make sure your hands are clean. I don't want fingerprints all over me skull. Sweet freedom! Ah, it feels good to see in more than one direction. All these years I've spent wondering what happened to me town and me treasure. Now, we've a long journey ahead, and I've yet to find me sea legs. So you get set up the walking, and I'll take care of the talking. Let's start by heading for the old lighthouse. Or perhaps you'd rather me take ye on the grand tour of me fallen kingdom. Who knows? There may still be plunder to find. I may not be the pirate I once was, but I can still put the fear into them what knows me. I know you can hear me, ye cowardly curs! Drop what you're doing and get this bridge in order! We've a ferry to catch! I suppose I should tell ye my story. But when we sailed into the Sea of the Damned, we were a happy accident, for we were fleeing our enemies with a hold packed full of their plunder. By and by, me crew starts to grumble about returning to the living world. But I'd have soonest stayed with me loot for all eternity, rather than risk it out on the waves. The night I snuffed out the flame. Aye, and the lighthouse keeper too. Had to be sure the ferryman wouldn't come and part me from me loot. Now, I'm not what you'd call knowledgeable about contraptions and whatnot. If I can borrow a body, I might be able to help. See if you can't set me down on that headless heap of bones over there. Ah, new body at last. Not as handsome as me old one, but they say beggars can't be choosers. There! It's just like sailing a sloop. Ye never forget how. Now, let's see if we can't find some clue as to set this place ablaze once more. First, see if you can't light the brazier with that fancy flame of yours. Of course, lighting up the town is all well and good. But you'll need to point your flame out to sea, if we're to call the ferry. Aye, that's the way. Though I think it looked better in the dark. Now, to get the ferryman's attention. is new, and the mists are clearing. Let me try and get a better view. I see sails on the horizon. Well, there she be. The Ferry of the Dam. Though you'll find no welcome passage on her decks. Those hooded fellers are what you might call in charge around here. And they won't suffer the living to board her. The only way ye'll sail aboard that ship is to stow away. I wonder if their little secrets still be stowed about here. The key to me cabin, after all these years! 
The Keeper took it when he ratted me out to the others and they set upon me. Me ship will be a sight for sore sockets, sure enough. But this moldy old body won't last five minutes out there, so I'll need ye to be my transport once again. At least till we reach me ship. Take me to me ship with the red sails, and I'll see ye safely aboard that ferry. a fine touch. Set me down atop that air skeleton. There's a secret nearby. I can smell it on the wind. <laughs> there she be. Me golden hair. The fastest ship on the seas. By my reckoning, and no one ever dare tell me different. A piece of advice. You always have a secret way back to your own ship. To me, Calvin! Sorry, Captain. We, we, we just got carried away. We, we didn't mean nothing by it. I said we never should have mutinied. Good to have you back, Cap. Mm. Sure, I used to be taller in this. This key will let you through the side door in my cabin. For here is where we be parting ways. There's a rowboat over yonder that'll carry ye onto the ferry. Quiet as a church mouse. But I wonder... Do ye really know what's waiting for ye below her decks? Not all treasure is silver and gold. Me crew are free. And me conscience is clear. But I've still plenty of thinking to do. Perhaps one day, we'll meet again. Now take the key and be off with ye, before ye find yourself trapped here for good. Ye've made an old sea dog happy today. This key's the least I can do. Watch where ye step. The treasure what cursed me may still be lying about. forsaken place, who have learned the price of breaking the pirate code. You have suffered under the weight of chains forged by your own misdeeds, and now your time is served. Though you shall not fully remember your time in this place, Perhaps some remnant of understanding will accompany you when you step through my portal and return to the living world. Perhaps not. And we shall meet here again. For now, we must make sail and quickly. For strange ships now patrol these endless waters, and ours is the longest voyage of all.
secrets are laid bare. I cannot surrender the wheel, but I entreat you. Do not continue to trespass here, for you do not understand the truth of what you seek. Come on, Tuggy. Come to Jack and get the bone. Come to Jack and get the bone. Good boy. This bone's much nicer than those rusty old keys. Look, I'll try a bit first. Okay? Hmm, not bad. Means salt and red. I know what you're thinking. That dog is never going to move. Therefore, I'd propose a wager. Let us see if I can lure him over faster, then you can take the keys from his mouth and let me out. The winner gets this delicious bone. Endeavouring in escape, silence is generally best. However, as I've had no one but a recalcitrant mutt to talk to for far too long, I shall bow to my collegial nature and introduce myself. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Though, since you came here to rescue me, you probably knew that already. And you must have heard tell of my heroic journey to acquire this, the greatest pirate treasure of all. A golden key to other lands, an eternal freedom, plundered from the lair of a heartless squid and used to assist in the daring escape that led me to stand before you now. Shiny, isn't it? You know, I haven't had so much as a crumb to eat since I got here. Not completely sure where here is exactly, but it's sorely lacking in dinner options. I'm a shadow of my former self. Then again, the captain seems a dreary sort of fellow. Probably enjoys dried biscuits. Wouldn't even tell me how I came to be aboard this sad little ship. The last thing I remember was standing at the helm of the Pearl as we made our escape. Suddenly, there was a loud, booming, cannonballing sort of noise. A cannonball, perhaps. The scenery is not very inspiring, but it's good to stretch my legs. Now, let's get off this ship before. Stay where you are! That happens. You! from the living world. Why have you interfered with my work? The selfish actions of this Barrow have brought catastrophe in his wake. Dire fortune that now threatens to consume the sea of thieves itself. That's Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. And I think you may be overreacting just as much. I know the true worth of what I possess, and I intend to keep it quite safe. Now, I can see you're very busy and very grumpy, so we'll just be on our way. Silence! You shall be returned to your cell. At this time, the key shall be cast overboard into the abyss. What you possess must never be permitted. See the of your actions? Already the sands of time have trickled into oblivion and we are discovered! He has found us! They have our set now. We cannot flee. Therefore, we must fight! To arms! Steady, mate. That's the Flying Dutchman we're talking about. She's no ordinary ship. Then upon the waves of my domain, she will find herself well matched! Play your part, pirates! The cannons stand ready! 
Unleash the fury of the dead upon this interloper, that we might put an end to calamity before it begins. I believe that means he'd like us to use the guns. Just a defender with me. I forgot to bring the bow. Oh, very well. Take my blade while I steady our course. A dead man's sword for a dead man's hand. Keep your trusty claws off me. Not heed my warning. Now Sparrow is lost, and our enemy has the treasure in his grasp to fulfill his dark ambitions and lay siege to the Sea of Thieves. Already his plans are in motion, deep beneath the waves. You have caused much harm this day. However, you fought bravely. I shall return you and your vessel to the land of the living, so that you may continue to fight. Fight to save all that you have endangered. Fail, and you shall bear witness as this world, too, falls under the shadow of Davy Jones. Again we meet, and now you understand the truth. Because of the treasure he stole, Jack Sparrow lost his freedom. And now, that same fate come for us 
before. The fairy man. Him knew all about the treachery face. Not from his prisoner, no. But from the darkness that followed that prisoner from beyond the horizon. The flying Dutchman and its forsaken captain, David Jules. Ah. You have heard him name before, I think. Maybe in a bedtime story. But the danger him bring to the Sea of Thieves is more than just a tale. Now that Jack's treasure is in Jones's possession. If David Jones is not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. Jack is the only one who held the key to reach David Jones and take back that treasure. But now, poor Jack is beyond our sight. Set adrift in the sea of the damned. Still, we may not be so lost as that, for Jack's destiny is a tangle, tied with the fate of him one true love. The Black Pearl, a precious gem, sunk to the bottom of the sea. In her, that's hope. Maybe even a way to reach those who are lost. This journey is a treacherous one. The seas have many secrets, long since forgotten. What you think you know of its past is only a glimpse to the door that David Jones opened. But now, I fear we have no choice. Take these papers and study them. Then, dive into the deep and find the heart of the sunken pearl before the dark water swallows her forever.
fearless crew of this once proud vessel. They fought so bravely, but now they are captive. Their lives held forfeit. And now, a flame of hope descends into this cold darkness, born here from the world above the waves. I beg you, do not abandon them to their fate. That which you now possess will guide you onward. I shall use what little influence I have to light your way. Now, please, just a little farther. This is the final step of your journey. You shall be able to proceed no farther into the spire. For this is where my ocean crawlers shall destroy you. Kill them. little skill. Perhaps I will let you live long enough to meet my beloved daughter. If only you land dwellers knew of our history. If you understood what we had lost and all that we seek to reclaim, you would never have trespassed here. This is not your world. You exist here only as long as I allow it. We have slumbered for countless years, but now we have awoken, and we are hungry. There is so much you do not comprehend, and so little of your life left in which to learn the truth. to play with my greatest prize. A royal gift from Davy Jones himself. Another ship from the world above, soon to be drawn inside the walls of my citadel and consumed. Peace by peace. you can reclaim this sunken pearl. Have you arrogance enough to believe you humans hold sway over us? Know this, land dweller. I am the queen of the sirens, and this is the true majesty of my domain. Your courage has carried you farther than I anticipated. But I will not permit you to desecrate my palace with your presence. Leave the spire immediately and surrender yourself to my royal guard. 
You shall join the others of your species and sing for me for all eternity. eluded me, that I would not notice your brazen intrusion into this sacred citadel. My ocean crawlers were once feeble land dwellers like you, unable to withstand the cruelty of the sea. Our song gave them purpose, and the ocean's bounty gave them new strength. They are my loyal soldiers. And I shall so enjoy watching them tear you apart. in my designs. The same fate awaits the ships of all those who dare to sail upon- You must not attempt to board that vessel! It still contains much that is precious to me, and I shall not permit you to defile it with your witless thievery! Dance! Aggression, the brutality that you pirates cry. 
you land dwellers are. How comical. And yet when I stare into your eyes, I sense you truly do not know why it is we sirens despise you so. No matter. You are to be granted a singular honor to have your life ended by a monarch of the sirens. We who have ruled below the waves for centuries, while your species scratched and squabbled in the dirt. Now, bow down to me, and die! is love, but that's one dream I'm glad to be woke from. Aye, oh, my head's still ringing. Well, that song it was so sad. There were words, too, weren't there? Ah, it's all fading away. Me, I just as soon as not remember. Oh, I assume we have you to thank for our rescue. After we were captured by those scaly songstresses, I thought we'd be fish food for sure. Joshimi Gibbs, at your service. First mate of the Black Pearl. Well, former first mate now. The Dutchman, she finally overtook us, and we were dragged down right along with her. But then, as you're in possession of Jack's compass, I'd wager you've already seen the fate of the Pearl. As to her captain, 
Since you're here, might I surmise that Jack's not quite as dead as we were led to believe? Got himself into a whole new world of trouble, I'll be bound. If the captain's in peril, we gotta rescue him. And get captured again. You heard what the siren said. Davy Jones wants to turn this place into his new locker. And we were just first in line. Besides, you know the code. Anyone who falls behind is left behind. I, Anna Maria. And where would that have left the three of us if not still part of the ornamentation? No, I think the pirates in these parts have expanded on the code, as it were. Also, the captain's still got the treasure, so we can't go home until we find him. Oh, I hate it when you have a point. Fine. Rescue it is. Where do we start? Well, we brought Jack back from the dead once before, so we know it can be done. We all just need to put our heads together with anyone who's willing to help. Oh, and I'll be needing Jack's compass if we're to find our way to friendlier shores. But we've still a debt to repay, so we'll gladly help you any way we can once we've reached land. If the winds be fair, we'll meet again soon. For now, farewell. To do what you do. To plunge into the icy dips and face the hatred that dwells below the waves. That is not easy. But in the dark, you found the heart of the Black Pearl. A loyal crew. Mr. Gibbs, you are no longer my only guest. Ah, we meet again. This fine woman's been telling me about this sea of thieves we found ourselves upon. Seems we won't be wanting for adventures here. Unless, of course, the goings on in the Sea of the Damned. Aye. I have been telling Mr. Gibbs that the Sea of the Damned is a place shit by the lives of those who live there. The cursed captain, he not know it. But the town where him spent eternity is drawn from him own last past. And that's what's got us thinking. If we can follow footprints to find the boots what's made them, we can use a man's life to find the man. Now I've sailed with Jack Sparrow longer than most, so I've more than a few tales of his past misdeeds tucked away in me old mazard. Our lives are treads in a tapestry. They loop and they tangle. The stories Mr. Gibbs tell helps me tease out the golden thread of Jack's path as it wind through the sea of the damned. Now it fall to you to follow it. But uh, as to Jack's precise location, we're still at a bit of a loss. You'll need this back for the best chance of finding him. If what you want most truly be to save the Sea of Thieves from David Jones, then the compass will point the way. All I can do is draw back the veil. Uh, before you go, there's plenty about Jack's life that's strange, or peculiar, or downright inconceivable. So I've scrawled down all that I can in these here notes. You'd best take them for the journey. I'd tag along, but if I try to leave without making reparations to the last Lorena, who gave us food and lodging, not even the Sea of the Damned will hide me. Best of luck to you.
We're all counting on you to bring Jack home. Ships on the horizon. They're colors? None, sir. That means pirates! To arms! Man the guns! for lighting us a path, and now we're here to collect the man what Captain Barbosa's been searching for. Hand over Jack Sparrow, and we'll have no call to be scrapped with one another. We are officers of the Spanish fleet. We do not negotiate with pirates. Pity. For them what lives as soldiers in Barbosa's waters, soon finds they die as soldiers. But if that's the choice you've made... Open fire! Fire! Did you take me nothing but mist and memory? I knows a living soul when I sees him, meddling where he don't belong. The name's Black Dog Friar. First mate to Captain Barbosa. Here in search of the traitorous friends, Jack Sparrow. Judging from the trinket on your belt, you and I are both hunting for the same man. Pity his famous compass can't tell what's real and what's not in these here parts. When we find Jack Sparrow and take his treasure for ourselves, we'll finally be free of this accursed place. I'll be sure to tell Barbosa all about how me crew struck you down on this very beach. Try your blades, me arties, and show them what for! Fair warning. I don't give up. Time for some fun. That can't be true. You're not mess me. To be living, to be weak. Too slow. It's my turn now. Well now, I see you've got more spirit in you than those carrying curs locked inside their keys. Give them no quarter, mateys! 
We've a fort to claim! Jack Sparrow, speak up! 
Or do you fancy a swim with Davy Jones? Don't tell him, Carlos. Don't be chicken. I am not chicken. I will not talk. <laughs> Off, matey. Where be Captain Jack Sparrow and the treasure, you bilge rat? Do not tell him, Carlos! No, 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 no! Kim! Oops! Wanker, oh. now, you swabbies! What be I offered for these hearty hens? Everyone an egg layer! Now, you scurvy scoundrels, do I hear ten? A hen for a what ten! A keep still! Pipe down, you lily livered lover! Oh, Send egg hens to David Jones! It's the gold they want! He's held them into the jail! This time, we've got him cornered! Villains and knaves, drink up, me hearties, yo ho! A toast to piracy and its many shiny rewards. I humbly accept this magnificent treasure as my reward for a life of villainy, larceny, skullduggery, and persnickety. Me. Drink up, me hearties, yo ho! Sparrow must be here and all. Search the town! Ready or not, here we come! There'll be no escape for you this time. Captain's orders. You'll not best me. Time to teach you a lesson! You're no match for me!
fight for me crew. I fight for me crew. You'd best start believing in ghost stories. You're in one. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Angus wants inside it. Enough. I discovered. I discovered. Send his beloved pal back to the dead. One by one, the tentacles wrap around my ship. The crew watches helpless as I stare into the Kraken's maw. The lovely Elizabeth weeping for the life we'll never share. And young Turner brought to his knees by my heroic display of self-sacrifice. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship or abandoned Hello, BC. I whisper with such an air to the nation that the Kraken itself understands exactly who it's I suppose I could have been and let it slip back into the depths, had it not scuffed the paint of my precious black pearl. Young Spar, our debt is settled. Now, this is what happened next. That's the tale to be told by a man whose thirst has been quenched. Now, who wants to give the song another try? 
We're devils in black sheep, really bad eggs. Oh, okay. oh, get the hang of it. This is my favorite. The living may not enter this hallowed haven of the honored dead. Be gone! I said be gone! Ye scurvy! Ah, I love the Wait! Song. I remember ye now. It's me, your old shipmate from the lighthouse. Many a month since I've set eye sockets on ye, matey. For me, I mean. Time flows differently here. Oh, I've had some grand adventures since he set yo me free. Ho, but now yo, ho. I guard this here threshold. Normally flesh and blood types be forbidden. But I reckon I owe you a debt. In ye go. But try and keep out of trouble. Once more, with feeling! It's all right. Bear with me. Don't tell me. You're here to rescue me. Considering the success of your previous efforts, or lack thereof, pardon me if I decline your assistance forthwith. Besides, I'm not presently in need of rescuing. This is the first place I've found here where everyone appreciates my unique uniqueness. And no one's tried to lock me up. So, pull up a chair, grab a glass, because I have an eternity of stories to tell. Oi! You have my compass. But I left that back on the road. Oh, so you found the pearl, eh? Well, don't think that's going to drag me out of here. From what I hear, this so-called Sea of Thieves is nothing but cursed crews, the blasted trading companies, and antisocial skeletons. Oh yes, and now one Davy Jones. After us searching already, Savvy, there's nothing there for me. I'm afraid you're wrong, Jack Sparrow. That's Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. No, I don't think so. A captain doesn't abandon his ship or his crew. And just whose moustache do I have the dubious pleasure of addressing? Sir Arthur Pendragon, captain of the Black Witch. It was pirates like this that helped me when I lost my crew and my hope along with them. They reminded me that our Sea of Thieves is a special place. A place where you can be a pirate and a good man. A place where anything's possible. Even falling in love with this idiot. Where we're stronger together. Somewhere worth fighting for. A place where we need nothing more than the open waves and a ship beneath our feet. A place we can be free. What a ship is, is freedom. Well, now that you're all finished, I'll be taking my compass back. If you'd be so kind. What I want most. Funny. It seems to be pointing outside. Wait! For luck. Not sure I deserve that. Leaving so soon, mateys. Ye've a fair wind. I spy a way back to port out there on the waves. Be swift now. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. Bad little ship. There she does seem to fight on essentials, mate. Hammocks, pillows, and the cabin. But never mind that. Let us return to the land of the living. When I said, bring me that horizon, you know it was bring me any horizon, or else I'm going back to the mates, mate.
This is one of those moments you'll not seem to forget. I, on the other hand, have forgotten it already. Sailing back from the land of the dead. I'm starting to make a habit of it. Being a pirate used to be much simpler. The time was I could go an entire day without pondering the mystical, imaginal, or phantasmal. This will make for an excellent story. Some folks may even believe it. Hmm. I would appear to still be dead. A bit disconcerting, that. But not as much as the thought of there being someone out there who knows far too much about me. I shall disembark and see if I can't track down this mysterious chronicler of my many misdeeds. Not to mention find my treasure. It won't be too long owing to it till we meet again. Yet travel to the sea of the damned, walk its shores, and found one last in his own past. Not many can walk beyond the veil that way. The things they see steal away their minds forever, till they even forget that dim dead. But David Jones will not forget how you stood in him way. Now will him forgive the Siren Queen for failing him. He... Wait! We are not alone. <laughs> you know you cannot hide from me, Jack Sparrow. Uh, I wasn't hiding. I was eavesdropping. Vastly different pastimes. Dare him stand. Under the pirate who's twice come back from the land of the dead. Who escaped the raid on Isla Tassoro and even found the Fountain of Youth. Oi! Have you been gossiping about me with this strange, book-obsessed individual? Whatever they've told you, it's not true. Unless it's flattering, in which case, it's all true, but they left out the best bits. The man who stole the only trinket that can reach David Jones. A pendant twin to the one Jones himself possesses. How can you know all this? That pendant? Belongs to me. You can't be. Aye. This time it was to see what brought you back to me, Jack. See you, Dolma! Uh, Calypso! Uh, shouldn't you be floating on a cloud of bubbles or whatever it is sea goddesses do? And while I'm asking the questions, am I alive or am I not? I look like a ghost. I can turn invisible. Yet I can still touch my belongings. The Sea of Thieves is a hunting place. It bestows many gifts even upon the dead. That is why I followed the Black Pearl here. To protect these sacred waters from Davy Jones and that which follow him. That is all the answers I have. Now you must listen. Davy Jones knew that the pirates of this world threaten him plans. So him summoning his own dark virgin of a brethren court. Made of those cruel and corrupted souls who long to rule the Sea of Thieves. If him succeed... His power will be greater than ever before. This is why I love running to old friends. They always have such cheery news. Ha! But if Jones is inviting his friends for tea, that means we know where to find him. And, by the by, my treasure. 
You speak the truth. And since you still hold the key to his fortress, with my sketches you can find your way inside. Think of what you want most, Jack Sparrow. It will show you the way. Right. Well, given that these are unfamiliar waters, and I lack a ship with which to sail upon them, critical decisions must now be made. <clears throat> You will always remember this is the day your crew was joined by Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, I know that's a great honor to bestow upon a humble vessel such as yours. Don't you worry. I promise you won't be an imposition. Dear Dolma, about that treasure, if it was entrusted to Davy Jones, that can only mean... Hush! There are some truths not ready to be told. Their time will come when a deed is done. Now make sail with a jack and be swift. Oh, well then. See you aboard. It seems we have a long journey ahead of us, so I took the liberty of helping myself to some provisions. Now, Jones's fortress is practically off the edge of the map. But not to worry. My compass knows the way. Well, shall we? Mermaid's hideaway. I met a mermaid once. Nice girl. Bit naive, yet still fierce. Interesting combination. The Reaper's hideout. Not much of a hideout if you put it on the map, eh? The Shores of Gold. I like the sound of that. Let's go there next. Devil's Ridge, the Devil's Roar, the Devil's Thirst. Once again proving that pirates are an unimaginative lot when it comes to naming things. How can it be the Lost Gold Fort if everyone knows where it is? Soon my treasure will be back in my position. Happy days! Judging by the aquatic architecture and air of General Menace, I'd say we've come to the right place. If there's no one firing at us, it seems we've managed to retain a little surprise. Let's not waste it, shall we? I believe I've found a way in. This humble trinket once belonged to Teodolma, a twin to the one Jones possesses, and the key to his most valuable... valuables. My crew found it on the deck of the Pearl after Tia was... released, shall we say. What matters is, this got me inside another of Jones's strongholds once before. Let's just hope he hasn't changed his tune. Surprising. Jones assumes I'm dead and lost for all eternity, adrift on an ocean of forsaken souls. So he hasn't bothered to change the locks. Frankly, I find that rather insulting. There's a resting place just up here if you need to satisfy. Mind your step, though. It's slimy, treacherous. It reminds me of a Commodore. Did you see me swim straight through that door? I wonder if I come into possession of any other ghosts. It's no good. I can't move things with my mind. Shame. What about? No, nope, that doesn't work either. Would have been great fun though. 
It seems my newfound skills are limited to turning invisible and walking through walls. Once I get my treasure back, I'm heading straight to the nearest bank vault. There you are. I was starting to think you'd taken a tumble. Not everyone's as steady on their feet as I am. may be crewed by a gang of antisocial shellfish, but this vessel is nothing if not perilous. Powerful, too. She was fast enough to follow the Black Pearl when we crossed the horizon with my treasure, and scuppered us before we knew it was what. Although, if the Dutchman sailed inside this fortress, she must possess some means of opening that big door of the yonder. All we have to do is find it. There was a time this ship had a proud mission and a noble purpose. But that was long ago. Still, let's not disturb what we mustn't. I don't think anyone's aboard. Shall we have a look around? Better let me. This ship has a nasty habit of making those aboard her part of the furniture. This, mate, is the inner sanctum of the most vengeful creature to sail the seas. And that spot right there is where I swipe the treasure out from under the nose he doesn't have. If we don't get it back, this will never be over. And again, statues. It'll take more than one wee pendant to get them singing. Now, this is either very old sheet music, or Davy Jones's secret recipe for liver and onions. See if you can make heads or tails of it. It's working! Now we just need to wait for the song to end, and... Assuming we'll survive that long! I may have been slightly mistaken about this ship being deserted.
know we were here before? He most certainly does now. I suggest we disembark before he sends anyone else to offer us a warm welcome. Let us find out where that door leads, eh? As charming as this chamber admittedly is, this waterfall does present a conundrum. Allow me to assist via my newly discovered intangible my, my invisible my that thing I do where I walk through things. Seems the sirens have been collecting trophies. Just hope the Pearl's been spared such a fate. She deserves far better. Well, that's lost to time. Just like everything else down here. Listen to this. For seven sunsets, the sirens pursued us across these cursed waters, swaddling our ship in their song. The sound was beautiful, hauntingly so. But the carvings I found have shown me the truth. Theirs is a song of sorrow for all that they have forgotten. Their home, their kin, their past. The melodies of these truths have slipped into shadow, replaced long ago by lamentations of the lost. No wonder Jones controls the sirens. His song is also one of sorrow for things past. I don't suppose to see a Zorma, uh, the Calypso. Happened to mention it to you, but they used to be close. He served ten years aboard the Dutchman just to spend one day at her side. When she didn't honor her part of the bargain, well, let's just say it made him the thing he is today. Right, that's enough of that. This place is full of forgotten treasures. There might be something we can use inside one of these wrecks. Ooh, now that's very shiny. And there's an entire box of... with the seal intact. If I could just... No, doesn't matter. I'll come back later. This looks like it could be important, or at the very least, valuable. Why don't you take it and scout ahead while I continue the search? Who knows what else Jones has buried down here? Was your dalliance with the Siren Queen not all? Begin the ritual. So he thought to challenge the rule of the Siren Queen, and now you've come to challenge me, interfering in things you cannot comprehend. Do you not fear death? <laughs> You'll soon learn to. A world without the eternal abyss is a world frozen in time. You pirates here hide within your devil's shroud, frightened of the truth that nothing lasts forever. When it does all crumble to dust, you will find no trace of glory. No freedom, no love, nothing to save you from the void. And as you stare into the jaws of oblivion, you will crawl aboard my vessel, beg for my salvation, and all I'll say is, what is that infernal noise? Let's catch an infernal noise to you, mate. Jack Sparrow. You will not claim your prize a second time. Go, Calder. Begin the ritual. They must not interfere. Not interfere. 
Oi, I'll never get my treasure back while he's this well guarded. We'll have to thin out their ranks first. Try to lure them into my sights. Dispose of them yourself. I obey. I don't think he's too bothered by those weapons of yours. Try something more boomish. So much for old golden bonds, eh? Now, we just need to... <laughs> if you tell anyone about this, I'll deny it. Now, get me down! Remember that old song? Yo-ho, yo-ho, help Jack before we die! Now these should give old Squid Breath something to worry about. Fire! Fire the cannons! Fire everything! Stand your ground, gold father! Triumph is moving away! Get out of the way, you great golden git! Baby Jones, good work! Go! Did we win? This doesn't much feel like winning. And there's no sign of Jones. Also, no sign of my treasure. I have the disheartening sensation that we might not have stopped this little ritual after all. Well, at least we have one less member of this dark brethren to worry about. The Lion Dutchman has set sail, and the dark brethren follow in its wake. You must return to me. You'd best jump down and find your ship, mate. Let's meet back at Tia Dolma's camp. I've got a nasty feeling things are far from over. Whatever that ritual was designed to accomplish, I suspect it'll be more than less than good for the likes of us. Jack! You're a slightly ethereal sight for sore eyes. Still, I can't help noticing a particular trinket is somewhat conspicuous by its absence. Aye. That's because Jones and his new friends still have it. Seems he used it in some sort of ritual before escaping back to the Dutchman. Extremely ungentlemanly behavior, of which I heartily disapprove. Hmm. With the treasure's power in him clutches, Davy Jones and the Dark Brethren can move freely between worlds. They plan to sail to the Sea of the Dams just as you did. 
to take it over and destroy the ferryman. And if that happens, only pirates who swear an oath to Jones will be allowed back from the land of the dead. But that means he control everything. It'll be the end of this place for sure. And what are we supposed to do about all this? Jones has a whole fleet now, and we don't even have a ship. Well, I, for one, intend to get my treasure back, even if I have to swim for it. Fortuitously, there's a speedier alternative available. You, I'm commandeering your vessel and all who sail aboard her for essential pirate business. Besides, you've got as much of a score to settle with Jones as I. Aye, it may be a lost cause, but if anyone can win a fight for pirates, It'll be Sea of Thieves pirates. Ah, still. There's a might bit of ocean to cover, and we've only one ship. Where would we start? The doorway to the Sea of the Damned was opened from this world, and now it must be closed the same way. But to find it, we need something special. Something touched by the hand of David Jones. But we ain't got nothing what belongs to Jones. I saved the oars in our pockets, that is. Wrong. I have something. Thought I might use it to open up a coconut. Jones. Well, now that we have our heading, it's time we set sail. Meet me in your ship's cabin, where I shall be hard at work strategizing a strategy. And then forth we shall sally. Sally? Aye, and we'll see if we can't muster up some help at the outpost. Good fortune, and a fair wind to us all. Go. This is the last chance to stop David Jones. If we do not put an end to the Dark Brethren, the light of freedom will vanish from this world forever. Let's not waste time, shall we? Listen, mate, I've been thinking about what Tia Dormus said, that the door Jones open can only be closed from this side. If that's true, he'll not have left it unguarded. Now, I'm a man very much accustomed to thinking on his feet. But even I'm inclined to stock up on provisions before we sail to almost certain death. Plenty of planks, cannonballs, that sort of thing. Best not to head into battle empty-handed. When I first came here, all that mattered was escaping Jones's wrath. Never occurred to me this might be a place worth running towards. But Gibbs is right. The pirates here are different. They don't just fight for gold or power. They fight for freedom to choose. And that's the freedom no one can ever be allowed to take away. Oh, I see. The sentimental sort, eh? Well, not that. We have a war to win and a sea to save. Far be it for me to doubt the wisdom of the sea goddess, but are we absolutely certain that this is the right cloud? Frankly, I don't think it looks much like Jones. You're too late, Jack Sparrow! Though, on reflection, I suppose there is a passing resemblance. Not to state the obvious, but it appears those watery witches have returned to lend Jones their power. And who have we here? Forgotten sailors? Forsaken by the ferryman? And marooned that in the Sea of the Damned? They've pledged their allegiance to me, and I've promised them dominion over the world of the living. 
They will defend the Spire until my work is done. You always was a persuasive squid. Ready the cannons! In my day, pirates were not so arrogant. A husk of wood and metal is all that stands between you and the icy depths. Yet, you claim mastery over the sea, oh! You've no idea what true terrors lack beneath the waves. Either I've still got water in my ears, or something very bad is about to make an appearance. Boy, that's louder than the Gemmy's back, my friend. there's a chill. We'd best keep a safe distance if we want our brains to remain safely inside our skulls. Ah! More allies to my side! Distracted. Now you have the chance to enter the spire and find what is giving David Jones him power. Where do you think you're going? in this world. Hurry, and reveal the source of this power to me. Did you think I left my spire unprotected? The brethren know they face extinction. All that remains is for them to decide where they make their final stand. Run to your 
your ship before the spire collapsed back where it belonged. She may be. The Darkman is still the strongest ship on sea. But she still has her combat. Gibbs, I see you've salvaged the pearl. Excellent work. Aye, well, it was mostly the doing of the merfolk, truth be told. They're quite marvelous creatures here. Oh, well then, I'll take my compliment back. Prepare to make sail, you lazy wretches! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to Jones? And what about the treasure we was after? And why is the captain still dead? Young man, I believe your questions are about to be quite conclusively answered. Fear not the wrath of Davy Jones. He's my prisoner now. I'm bound to the very vessel he sought to destroy. A fitting fate. With the Dark Brethren scattered and their ambitions at an end, I believe it is now safe to return this treasure. To the hands of one who died defending it. I have weighed the worth of a million souls. And yet, 
I misjudged you, Jack Sparrow, and acted rashly. Such was my desire to prevent calamity. You captains of the damned have shown great courage and deserve a second chance at a pirate's life. That's better. And all the best bits seem to be in the right places. Well, I've just got my ship back, and we've just rescued everyone from certain doom. I'd say that entitles us to public adoration, free refreshments, and some grand adventures out and about on this freshly saved Sea of Thieves. Where do we start? Remember, Jack, you made her a promise. Ah, I'm afraid Theodore was correct. I have some unfinished business that must, unfortunately, take precedent over any revelry in the immediate futurity. Be that as it may, Jack, we're still a bit short-handed. Excellent point. Our next destination lies beyond the horizon. Any pirates, formerly deceased or otherwise, who wish to throw themselves headlong into grand fun, battling unknown perils, are welcome to join the crew of the Black Pearl. That's a tempting offer, Captain, but my place is here. Protecting the Sea of Thieves from the likes of Davy Jones and the Dark Brethren. I will take my leave of you. My crew and I, likewise, have promises that remain unfulfilled. Now that we're back on the seas, it's time to make amends. Safe journey, Captain. Whatever your destination may be. Well, I'm not missing out on fighting unknown dangers in distant lands. Sign me up. Me too. As if I'd let you sail off without me. Suppose you and I should part ways for now. After all, someone needs to stay and keep this place lively for me till I return, eh? And trust me, I will return, mate. Or my name isn't... Well, you know the rest. Work lively, you lot! We've got a horizon to cross! Get that anchor raised! Hands to braces! And someone, please, strike up a tune. Prepare to anchor, Mr. Scrum, as soon as the last of our guests has departed. 